championship game appearance in 12 years this past Saturday as they faced Section 5's Arcport at Binghamton University. Sophomore Eddie Wright pitched all six innings, recording nine strikeouts for Oriskany. However, the Arcport Wolves held them to just three hits in the 4-0 loss. Oriskany finished their season with a 19-3 overall record. And even though Oriskany didn't come home with the state championship title this weekend, they were awarded something else this afternoon. Jessica Landman was at Oriskany Elementary School to find out more. Today, Oriskany Central School enters into a new era. Oriskany celebrated the retirement of their previous mascot in the unveiling of their brand new mascot. With any retirement, it is not just the end of an era, but the beginning of a new one. The Redskins nickname will forever be part of our school's history and we will honor and always honor as we embark on our new chapter. The New York State Board of Regents voted on a regulation in 2023 prohibiting the use of indigenous team names, mascots, and logos by public schools, which meant that the former Redskins had to change their name. After a long voting process with the community, students, and staff, and a year without a mascot, the new mascot was finally revealed today. Five, four, three, two, one. The logo for the Skyhawks has not been made yet, but deciding on a name is the first step to giving the school its new identity. Reporting in Oriskany, I'm Jessica Landman, Eyewitness News. It is definitely a new era for them over at Oriskany. Yeah, and they seem pretty happy with the decision, so. I'd say so, yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, Gretchen. Coming up next, after the break, I'll bring you the latest trending stories from around the nation. Stay with us. <laughs> 